Okay, good afternoon. Any participants out there? Let's wait for my students. Okay, first customer, <laughs> first student, Enas uh, Shereki. So maybe around two minutes more before I start. Enas, 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 how are you? Abdul Aziz Al Badri. Azan al Mari. So again, please have your microphones on mute. What happened to my light? Hey, hey. lang the live session sa Facebook and waiting for my students to be online. Azan Al Maharis, thank you very much for logging in. Please mute your microphones. So later on, I'll give you a chance for a uh, question for and answer. Azan, I'm going to force mute you. So those who are watching at Facebook, try it lang po ito. Yep, maliktad. Okay. Okay. Sorry, Magulo. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so far, I have eight students Abdul Aziz, Al Badri, Amnal Shehi, Azan, Al Mariz, Enas. Al Shereki, Majid Al Riyami, Nad Al Rashdi, Sultan Al Harti, how are you? Zainab Al Balushi. Uh, who's this? Azan Al Maris, can you hear me now? Azan? You said I can't hear you properly. Okay, let's hide the conversation. Who's in here? Show sure, participants. So I'm using Microsoft Teams for my uh, live sessions, online classes with my students. So today I'm going to have a uh, I'm going to explain the two exercises that I, I uploaded in Moodle and I'm going to entertain questions later on. Let's wait for some more, maybe two more minutes before I start. Okay, but to my students, uh, we are now live and Microsoft Teams and I'm recording the session by the way. Did I? Wait. Yeah, I started recording. Okay, so for the Facebook friends, I'm going to turn this off. I just started this. Who's in here? Anali, Brad, 
Jan Ryan, Janelle, Cisreya, and Maring Anadi, Mami Leonila, Sir Owen, De La Paz, Uy, how are you? Online class din kayo. Ma'am Idel, si pare kong Jan Marco, Tita Agnes, and Kai, kumusta? Ma'am Chris, how are you? Mag online class kasi ako. So waiting, I still have, uh, I only have 10 students. Pinaparami ko lang estudyante ko online. Still waiting for some more. 10 is a little bit low out of 43. Pangit pala mag-live sa Facebook. Kitang-kita yung oily skin. Okay. So, let's go back. Uh, now, it's 4.10. So, maybe I can start. So, good afternoon to all my students. Uh, I'll read some of your messages. Hey there, according to Sultan. Nada said hello. Sultan Al Harti said, I'm good, mister. Thanks for asking. Yes, I can, sir. How are you, mister? Nada said. I'm fine, actually. So, good afternoon. Welcome to our online class. So, as I said on my email, once you log in or once you join a dive session, please uh, have your microphones on mute. And okay, uh, again, the purpose of this session is for our uh, online class. And all my lectures and lessons are pre-recorded and uploaded in the links to the model. So through YouTube, you can access it. So just subscribe to my channel. And um, for the exercises, I'm going to explain how to uh, go with this and answer and submit. So I'm going to share to you first the, Mo the Moodle page our Moodle page. Where is my Moodle page? Okay. Okay, going to start now. So this is our Moodle page. As you can see, all the links for the lectures are already uploaded. And your exercise two and exercise three is also having an assignment submission link through this model. So all you have to do is open the exercise link and download the file. Exercise to, for example, answer it, save it, rename it with uh, the proper naming format like at least put your student ID number and your name on the file name. And then you will have a submission button here, somewhere here once you open the link and then just submit the exercises. So remember, please do not submit or final submission, submit your exercises or your assignment uh, unless you are sure already. Okay, so that's Proceed. I'm going to share the exercise to file. For the meantime, just give me two seconds. I'm just going to say goodbye to my Facebook friends. Bye. Need ka lang, dupit ng headset. Dupit ba ng...
Ayos ba? Thank you, dude. Sa gift mo. Oh, bye, guys. Okay. So, let's go back. Sorry for the interruption. Guys. Sorry for the interruption. Can you forgive me? <laughs> okay. So, let's uh, share my... Exercise two. Okay, five. So can you see the five? Guys. Can you see the five? Okay, very good. So let's proceed again. Where was that? Uh -huh. Wait, wait, wait. I can't go back. Okay, so this is it. Again, exercise to file. So once you download this, okay, you're going to see three worksheets, travel expenses, multiplication table, salary calculations. Okay, for the first one, travel expenses, you can see this is our summary ex of expenses. Let's read the task. Compute the Europe travel expenses in 2016. You need to add, to use absolute referencing to convert the amount in Oman Reals. Check the internet for the current exchange rate. Okay, so again, the table is just converting this amount to Oman Reals. Let's see, scroll down. So we have accommodation table, transportation table, the food and other expenses. And then you're gonna have to add all your Hi, hindi ko pa pala. Hindi ko pala pinatay yung live. Just a minute, ha? I haven't uh, turned off my live session. Uh. Okay, let me go back. So, you have to add the total expenses once you add the expenses for each table. Okay, but how to do this? The idea is to use absolute referencing. So, you know that when you create a formula of conversions, supposed to be. So, we said check the internet for the exchange rate. So, suppose the example, this is an example. I just added this just right now. Uh, one real is two euro. So how do we convert 26 euro to real? So example is equals to this uh, cell multiplied by two, right? So that since the conversion is one real is a two euro, that means every time you have um, a 26 euro, uh, that means you have to multiply it by 2. Okay? Ah, sorry, sorry. You have to divide it by 2. Ah, no, no. Okay, I'm confused. C6 divided by 2. Okay, but we have our target is to use absolute referencing. So, therefore, you have to divide it by the cell, which is F2, F3, sorry. So, but as we want to use the same formula, and you have to change, by the way, the currency. How do you change the currency? Go to number and change the symbol to Oman Reals. Okay, so that will be my real. So 13 reals, 26 euro. Okay, so uh, when you want to copy this to another conversion in euro, control C or copy and paste to this 
you can see that there's an error. Okay, that's where we have to use our absolute referencing. How do we use absolute referencing? We have to put the dollar sign. Okay, so the dollar sign. Okay, will be like this. So and so on. So you have to do that also in CHF or the Swiss francs. Uh, you have to search the internet for the conversion rate and so on. So Omani Rials should be correct. One should copy this to Euro. So copy and paste so that everything will be fast. So that's the idea. The idea is for you uh, to copy and paste formula so you don't have to type it one by one. Okay, that's the use of the absolute reference. Let's go to the multiplication table worksheet. Fill in the multiplication table using the absolute reference. Refer to the sample output below. So here, when you say multiplication table, I thought I uh, uh, was hoping that you already learned this in your elementary or in your grade school. So the idea is one multiplied to one row and column, you're going to have an answer. The answer is 1. 2 multiplied to 2, the answer is 2. 2 multiplied to 1, the answer is 1. Okay? So that's our idea here. So, but our task is filling the multiplication table using absolute reference. Uh, so that means what I want is just one formula here. Okay? Equals this using address okay but with the use of the absolute reference when i copy this formula here and down oops then it should be correct i mean everything should be filled up correctly so of course i'm not going to share what's that formula i want you to know it I want you to discover, I want you to try, okay, and think on how that formula will look like, okay? But as I said, copy to the right, copy down, one formula only, only here. This is where you're going to write that one formula. You will not change, okay? Only you have to copy to the right and then down, okay? Salary calculation. Uh, calculate the net salary of every employee using absolute reference. So this, your final output or final answer should be here. Uh, to compute the salary, follow the formula. Gross salary is rate per hour times number of work or hours work. So as simple as that. Multiply. The net salary is gross salary minus the deductions. The deductions are... Withholding tax is 20% of gross salary, 20% of this, 20% of this, okay? As you can see, the percentage is written here. 3% uh, pension contribution is 5%, health insurance is 3% of the gross salary. So you have to all get that percentage based on the gross salary. Then, Net salary is gross salary minus the deduction. As simple as that. Now you have to use absolute reference because I am asking you to use this percentages. So let's say equals the gross salary multiply percentage. Okay? E5 times F3. How do you apply now the absolute reference? So that when you copy it will be all uh, applicable, okay? So why do we have to do that? Why don't we just type 20%? As I said, the advantage of that, when you have already set this in place, everything is already computed, and you change the percentage, okay? Or you change uh, a formula, you just need to change the value here. You don't have to change, again, the formula and then copy and paste again, okay? So that's, that's the advantage. Okay, so with that, I'm going to just, uh, I'm going to stop 
um, with this exercise number two, I'm going to stop recording and I'm going to come back for exercise number three.